take that. Hey there, YouTube. We are. I'm out for a quick ride before I gotta go to work. I got about an hour. So I figured I'll take a run, check out some of the views. Come on. Come on. Go on the intro. There you go. So, unfortunately, I thought that my recorder would be doing me the humble favor of recording, which it was, actually, but somehow I turned the little dial down for the gain, and once you do that, well, you just don't have anything else to record. So, um, yeah, we'll be doing a voiceover because as much as I was chatting, there was no chatting to be had once I got back to the computer. So I'm out for a ride. Really, just a nice day. You know, I thought that the day wouldn't be this nice. It felt a little chillier when I stuck my head outside the door. And I almost said, eh, don't know if I want to go. Nice horses over there to the right. So... You know, I said, you know what, I'm going to pack the bike up or get the bike ready, get myself ready, throw on those chaps that you see down there on the bottom of your screen on it, just to keep my feet a little warm. It was about 50 degrees and uh, I said, yeah, we're going to get on out there. So, it's a weekend, and it's fall, and one thing with weekends and fall and upstate New York equals lots of traffic. But I figured I'd pull over here, this is Mohonk Preserve, a lot of people like to park here, I'm not going to go in there, and I figured I'd try and take a picture or two. Mohonk Preserve, Preserve, excuse me. Parking is full, guys. Parking is full. So, don't come up here because there's nowhere for you to park. Let me grab a picture of that. Wow, that's crowded. What was the crowd? Let me get 
get these guys backpacking. I don't know how far they're going. Far. Back on the bike. So it's about I think it's about 45 degrees today. Right now it should be about 50. Oh my god, excuse me. Yeah, 50 degrees right now. So not bad. I'm wearing my Tour Master. My Tour Master jacket. And this jacket here. This jacket's about four years old. So I didn't put the little fuzzy thing that I have for the GoPro on it. Otherwise, that actually would have brought the wind noise down a little bit. So you get a lot more audible, usable audio. So, um, yeah. But yeah, that Tourmaster jacket, I've had that for about four years. Maybe f going on five? Shoot. Has it been that long? And it's been pretty good. I mean, aside from the Velcro, like there used to be little Tourmaster logos on the Velcro straps there. And man, look at that. You even have people parking over here on the right. Jeez, we used so much people up here. And I was just, that's pretty much what I was talking about. I was like, man, there's so much people up here. They're all crowded into that little spot. And, they're, and then when we get up there to the lot, I'm going to pull in and kind of show you that view. Um, but yeah, it's so much people. Just looking for a place to park just so that they can walk you know which is which is really nice you know if you can get the chance to do that but um in the state troopers were giving people tickets if you parked on the side of the road so you had to really be careful but uh back to the tour master yeah it, you know it's been pretty cool i've had it for i think maybe five years i don't know if it was longer than that and um works great not very good in the summertime so if it's over say 68 degrees you probably want to wear something a little bit lighter because it doesn't it it does breathe you have vents but it's just a very heavy jacket and i mean in general just just holding it it's heavy very or weighty you know like my grandmother would say so you don't call it heavy, you call it weighty all right, hopefully she doesn't see this and smack me upside my head. But yeah, so that was that view. I just did a quick look-see because there was just so much people in there. I was like, I didn't even bother stopping. Um, so we're making our way on up here. You know, another thing that was just blowing my mind as of lately is um, gas prices. You know, they've been climbing they've been climbing you know i was telling my wife i was like hey you know i think by next summer we're gonna be seeing gas prices in the 330s and the 340s here in new york right and what do you know like a week later they're at like 330s 340s you know <laughs> oh man i tell you it's just it's just nuts so uh yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen, where we're going to be come summertime. You know, is it going to get higher? Is it going to stabilize? Are we going to drop a little bit? But I'll tell you, if it gets higher, it's going to be. Because, man, going to four dollars, that's going to be uh, that's going to be pretty interesting. If you get gas prices as high as four bucks, can you imagine? You pay four dollars to fill up a car with regular or 87 you know not even you're losing you're not even using uh 93 you know top the top octane brand model but you know just the lowest is four bucks and a matter of fact in the city i know there's 
places that are charging three ninety nine. Some places are charging four dollars. Um, some places are at the three thirty mark, three forty mark. So there's a, there's a little bit of gouging going on there also. So you kind of have to use that and you know shop around, try and get a better price. But I understand you know that they wanna make this push for all of us to turn to electric cars or hybrids but this isn't the way to do it I'll tell you that you know this is just making it tougher for a lot of people you know really making it tougher so I don't know I mean shoot I just filled up tonight and I paid three Three thirty, three thirty-three, three thirty-four, somewhere around there, and that was the cash price using debit. All right, the credit price was three forty-five. I said, man, whoo! Just had to take a deep breath. Just had to take a deep breath. You know, are things gonna get worse before they get better, or are things gonna get better before they get worse? It's kind of what we all have to ask each other ask ourselves probably or what I'm thinking but as you can see these colors man it's just amazing look at that just really amazing probably could have tilted the camera up a little bit more maybe but I think it's all right um, I'm gonna come up on this next view a little further up and we'll run into more stupid drivers who for some reason are parked on the side of the road trying to get a glimpse of a view or get a photograph or this god knows what but um we're gonna pull off a little further up really nice view up there really beautiful and um really just happy to share that with you i wish i had checked the gain on the mic when i started recording but well Sometimes that's just how the cookie ends up crumbling. So what are you going to do? You know, take the good with the bad and the bad with the good, right?
All right, so we're coming up on the second lookout. This is one of my favorite lookouts also. I really don't come up here on weekends too much just for this simple reason that you see here. And um, yeah, really nice lookout. And the views were really beautiful. And I tell you, I gotta, see if I, I gotta see if I can get out and take you guys up to another area where they have some really nice views. I really wanna see if I can get up into Lake George and up into Vermont. Um, I just need a free day to ride up there. Oh, that's the only thing. So I don't know, we'll have to see. And the weather's gotta cooperate also. But yeah, it would be nice. I believe I have a better view. Yeah, so we'll take a quick photo of you guys. And I'll probably end up spinning down there. Take a quick spin down that way. Colors are amazing. Man, look at that. It's just some amazing colors. It's outstanding. Really beautiful. And uh, this is the beauty of the Northeast is that you can enjoy you can enjoy beautiful colors like that peacefully nice really in a really it's really nice and the chaps have been working pretty good my legs don't feel too bad but you know it warmed up to 50 so you know that's a good thing you're doing a good job not putting too much pressure on the lines we have some pockets there. There's some pockets here you can put stuff in. It's up to you. Yeah. Maybe I'll do a separate video. Use the phone and show those to you. I'll have to pull over somewhere though. So I can do that. Yeah. I was hoping I could park somewhere and maybe walk a little bit take a couple of road shots but um, all, all of these lots are packed and on a fair is packed yeah, it's packed All right, so we'll take a short spin right down a little further ahead when this white, uh, when this white Dodge pulls out, I'll uh, pull out. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for taking the time to check this video out. You know, this is a voiceover, which I'm usually not too fond of, but I really wanted to use this footage. Anyhow, don't make sure you remember to follow me on facebook my facebook page the best one a's rides you can follow me on instagram at the best one a underscore rides and uh you can see all the little shenanigans that i tend to be up to and uh thanks for coming along and checking out the colors hope you guys enjoyed if you like the videos subscribe for more till next time we'll see you later